So my first Let's Mover is Matthew Slater at mattslats.net. M-A-T-S-L-A-T-S dot net. So Let's Mover Matthew Slater. <clears throat> August 26, 2008 sent out this message. Dear complimentary currency enthusiast, I found your address on the internet. You may be aware that there is very little software supporting communities which trade in local money. It amazes me that even Let's, the most popular community currency design, is not supported by open source software. There are many examples of isolated attempts by individual communities, but very little collaboration between communities or replicable process, progress. Then again, a lot of the bankster moles are running all of these letters, making sure they stay small and dinky and ineffectual. So what should CC software do? All this means that complementary currency schemes, which thrived in the 80s, are fossilizing because they're not keeping up with the technology and are putting off the younger generation. And of course, we've gone through a period of low interest rates so that there wasn't as much devastation economically as in the 80s. And just like in Argentina, once there's enough federal cash around, people stop using the local stuff. The young dwell perpetually within communities called social networks which only happen online. So instead of printing out and posting offer directories on paper and writing and posting and inputting checks, we need to extend the online social network paradigm to include payments and categorized offers and wants. Agreed. And if somebody just wants to put on their Facebook page, every time they owe hours to somebody, they simply get on there and say, I owe Freddie eight hours for helping me move last Saturday. That's a good piece of money because it's an IOU for time. So the marketplace is necessary though. Marketplace module for Drupal. This was my aim when I started work on Marketplace. Marketplace is a module which extends the free website building software Drupal. Drupal's job is to provide page and menu editing, graphic templating, user management, security, accessibility standards, and all the functionality of a community needs. Within this rich context, Marketplace then enables an offers wants directory and a transaction engine. That's really all any Let's needs is an online transaction engine and a way of searching around the world for things you want and searching locally without searching all around the world for things you want locally, like haircuts. I'll buy books from anywhere, especially rare ones, but haircuts I want in Brantford. So Marketplace is for your community. Drupal and Marketplace are absolutely free, open source software. That means anyone can use the code for free and modify it. There are thousands of Drupal developers across the world, and the number's growing rapidly as Drupal gets more powerful and easier to learn. Marketplace module is now ready to test with a real community. To have a look and leave your comments, please go to marketplace.natslats.net where you can begin a uh, login with a test account and add, edit, remove offers and wants, browse the directory, browse the members, start transactions with another user on their page, complete a transaction within your own profile, and check your balances and recent transactions. This test site is not a complete set of tools to manage your community. It's to demonstrate the functionality of the Marketplace module only. Drupal provides hundreds of other modules to do other things. If you have some experience of Drupal, you can also install the module yourself and have a go at building a site. So if something doesn't work the way you expect, let me know. This module has a lot of configuration options because every community has its own ways of doing things. If there are features your community would need, let me know. Some features are very easy to implement and others are in the pipeline. What happens next? Implementing software at the community level can be a lot of work. But what about implementing software at the international level? Partly because of the politics involved in the community, partly because migrating data is hard to automate, partly because the IT skills needed are in high demand. That's why I'm offering my full support for the first community which wants to use this software. As we go through the process together for the first time, the knowledge gained can be shared with other communities. If your community is ready to go online, let me know. Cheers for now. Matthew Slater. Good for you. Then from maxlats.net. He's got an article called Herding Cats. 
The Linux world seems to attract idealists who start projects which are bigger than their ability to pursue them. Focusing on software, I only know of one project with more than one person working on it. Cyclos. There seem to be several one-man initiatives, which aren't going anywhere. And it's not like everyone is trying to achieve the same thing either, which explains in part why these people aren't working together. Here's a list of people and projects I have direct experience of. Cyclos is a very powerful open source Java application enabling communities to trade. Its funders, however, are developing it for a very specific set of communities and have given scant attention to making it accessible or adaptable for other purposes. For example, reskinning it is very difficult. The SANE project, S-A-N-E, in South Africa has a very powerful system which is supporting thousands of people in a network linking tens of communities. Well, good, let's extend that to the whole world. The only way to get access to their software is by joining their network though which means all the governance is done in South Africa by strangers, not very local. Too bad. Fourth Corner Exchange is a thriving scheme in the U.S. which wrote its own web trading application. Mary Fee of Let's Link UK has deployed Fourth Corner Exchange's software for Norwich, which they hope to repeat for other schemes. Hi, Mary Fee. I remember Mary from my trip to Britain in 1998. She also has created a conglomerative scheme to link boroughs in London. This is based on my original code. Well, as long as they link to time, why can't they intertrade with the same group? You know, if I want to go stay in South Africa, why can't I pay with a five-hour bill down there like I paid with a five-hour bill in 11 countries in Europe in 1999? All they got to do is agree to take each other's time credits. John Waters is working with communities in Wales. His vision of a future money involves a plethora of currencies <laughs> representing all types of value in a single transaction. Yeah, you know these guys who want to have, they want to give you a hundred. Hey, I think Michael Linton once said there could be a hundred thousand currencies for you to look through to find the right one. <laughs> you know, imagine going to the store and you got to cull through a hundred thousand looking for the right one. I'd rather have one works everywhere. But I'm an engineer. What do I know about, you know? Anyway, John Rogers has just written a book on all the governance issues which must be addressed when designing a currency and running a scheme. How to govern running poker chips. Very complicated. Not. <laughs> Laszlo Schwilgen owns Unilets.org, friend of mine in Ottawa. It's just a directory of schemes, but he aims to help them coordinate matters such as software development. That means instead of being a devoted software package, which can do one thing only, Marketplace is a module or a plug-in for a widely supported free social networking website, which is improving all the time. Well, I don't care. I mean, let's face it. Facebook have their Facebook bucks if they only decided to run them right. So why shouldn't they be able to run his Marketplace right? I'm no less an idealistic than any of the people listed above, but I'm hoping that by hitting certain strategic buttons, Marketplace will emerge to lead this field. Well, maybe you can go explain it to Bill Gates at Davos. Alternative currency support. The mint of the realm is not the only store of wealth or medium of exchange. Community currencies facilitate trading all over the world. Such currencies are resilient against recession and collapse, do not favor the rich by charging interest, belong to communities, not the banks, prefer local goods and services over globalized economy, are used for economic regeneration and international development, and community currencies from his site, uh, mattslats.net slash lets. In 2004, I joined a local let scheme, believing this to be an excellent mechanism for building up local economies, reducing dependence on global markets, and meeting some real-world people. The scheme was run entirely on paper, with a three-page website and a spreadsheet file on someone's computer at home. Transactions were recorded using checks, which were then posted to the accounts manager for entry on the spreadsheet. Every four months, the accounts manager did a large print run and mailed everyone the fresh offers directory and fresh contacts directory. All the other software systems available seemed as interesting and user-friendly as a, as, a, as a spreadsheet. What was needed is currency exchange as a component of social networking. Unfortunately, these projects attract very little government funding as they are seen as undermining both national currencies and globalization. Resisting, anyway. The committee has been batting around the idea of building a web system for some time, but there was no software available. 
They didn't know how to get it made, and they didn't consider that every other let scheme had the same problem. I went away and built them an online training system, but the software was never deployed. Let's Link UK was much more receptive. It introduced me to many people with similar concerns. In summer 2008, I built a module for Drupal to do this properly. This can be found at http drupalorg project marketplace and the demonstration is at marketplace.natslats.net. Well, good for you. Hopefully someone's going to listen to this video and contact you. So thank you very much, Matt Slater. I hope you will be able to influence anybody going to one of these two conferences where you can assure them that a worldwide system is just as easily implementable as a local one would be. So, Matthew, get on the horn for the next 10 days. Contact anybody you know. Keep pushing to set up a Let's in a community, and we'll see if we can't make that community the whole world with the resources of Bill Gates and the rich behind